It's a mere a miserable rainy day in Manchester. Off the pitch right now, it's grim. On the pitch, it's not much better, mate, is it? And I mean, are you surprised about this result, Adam? I said 3-1, mate, to sit before I came. Listen, we are Manchester United Football Club, and not one fan, apart from the delusional top reds that I'll get into after, are surprised that we, we lost. I expected coming here to lose, and I still came here. Do you know why I love this football club? However, we've got fans here. Fans, I don't, I don't want to blame this victory, this defeat, I'm uh, lost on the owners. They've had enough. We've got to focus on the fans. The reason Ali Gunnar Solskjaer is here, yeah, you can say Ed Woodward and the board's incompetence to not sack him, but for me, it's the fans. These fans, match going fans, the ones that are singing his name. We got smashed 5 0 by Liverpool. 5 0. If Louis van Gaal or Jose Mourinho or David Moyes got smashed 5 0 by Liverpool, would they still be in a job? The answer is simple no, they wouldn't. Louis van Gaal got sacked on the day he won us the FA Cup. This guy lost 5 0, and at the end of the game, they were waiting for him, signing, getting autographs of him, and they were singing Ollie's at the wheel. Like, man, come on, what, what does that send to them? If, if your fans are singing Ollie's at the wheel, the board, why should the board, they're saving money with Ollie in charge. Why should, if the fans are happy, the ones that are going in the stadium, why should they change for? Well, would you change if would you well, change if you had happy customers and you was getting it at a cheaper price? Would you change Adam? That's it, mate. If I'd invested so much in the summer and I'm seeing what I'm seeing now, then I would be making a change because at the end of the day, mate, if we don't make Champions League, there's a big, big influx of money, which is not going to be at the club anymore. Is it going to take? What do you think it's going to take for this board, from what you've seen from them so far? To make a change i'm going to be completely honest i do not know how he, how he's going to go i'm being serious the fans all it's going to take is one good result and they'll be singing ollie's at the wheel again how can it change i'm not so sure because you just see man they just got a personal connection with him they cannot separate the player and the manager i didn't and hear ollie's at the wheel today from our fans mate i heard it from the opposition yeah, fans but, but at the stadium they're all blaming the players or oh, greenwood's lazy ronaldo this Cristiano Ronaldo is a five-time Ballon d'Or winner. Mason Greenwood is a generational talent. We've got Donny van der Beek. Donny van der Beek brought from Ajax. He was nominated for the Ballon d'Or. Became the top 30. He's come, he looks worse than the championship player in this team. Jadon Sancho. He was ripping it off at Borussia Dortmund. He was a, everybody wanted him. Liverpool, Chelsea. He comes in this team. He can't even get a start. All he's frozen him out. And now look what's happened to him. Dropped out of the England squad. Another thing I want to mention is about Oli's man, uh, man manager as we go on to this now. Jesse Lingard dropped out of the England team as soon as he comes. Jadon Sancho dropped out. Anthony Martial dropped out. Everyone goes, oh yeah, he's a good man manager, but is he really? Like, I, I cannot believe he survived, man. Like, what, how, how has he survived? We've been thrashed 5-0. Today was worse than, for me, worse than the Liverpool game. Because if Manchester City had a half decent finish on the team that team would have been 5-0 Man City did not have a recognised striker on the pitch and they still absolutely clot destroyed us man no recognised if they had one just one if they had let's say a half decent striker that game would have been worse than the Liverpool one man they weren't even trying you seen you seen legit every time they were on the attack in the second half they were just walking walking and the players it's quite clear to see after the first goal goes in every single game they give up and that's a worrying sign but you know what the thing I don't get is, they're, not, they're giving up, but they also want the manager to stay. And I, I don't think they're going to turn on this manager because they're going to work. They're enjoying themselves because they can do what they want. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, he does not seem like a strict man. He seems like a man that's very nice and very just like a good person. He doesn't yeah. demand a lot of them. So if he's going, if they're having a manager like that, they're not going to want him out. They're going to, they won't mind it. What, what, what consequences are they facing, these players? Nothing. Jaden Sancho, 19 years old. He's getting the big money. Does he really care at the moment? I don't think he cares. Mason Greenwood, he's still, get, he's still playing. Let's be honest, Mason Greenwood from last season, he hasn't improved his game at all. He just, he just shows how good he is, that he's still getting the numbers, he's still getting goals because that's how good of a player he is. And it's just like, I can't believe him. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Watford, Arsenal, Chelsea coming up. Much hope for anything turning around or does it literally have to be listen, with a new man in charge for you? Listen, it has to man. You cannot come back from this. He should have been sacked two years ago, but you know what? This board, they've got something in their head as well as these fans that they believe like it's going to work out. Not everything works out. It's fine, man. Frank Lampard, he was sacked by Chelsea. Not every club legend succeeds at a job, man. Look at Barcelona, they sacked Ronald Koeman straight after a game. We got destroyed 5-0. Any club in the world would not 
manager would not survive. 5 0 man. And as for his, his captain, Harry Maguire, do not get me started on him, man. Yeah, do not a, get me started. There's a multitude of subjects we can he get signed... into there today, mate. But at the end of the day, you mentioned the Liverpool game there. I would say the one shining light, probably from this season so far, by Ronaldo, is David De Gea. Yeah, he's in what's... the game again today. It could have been. Could have been four or five again easily. And uh, I've just checked on my phone as well. I've heard um, who was it? Gary Neville have Gary Neville having a goal at David Gea for the second goal. He's learning goal on David Gea and no mention of Luke Shaw and Harry Maguire for any of the goals. Yeah, I was looking at Luke Shaw in that one. You know, Luke Shaw, man. most overrated player, man. He's had three good months of six years, but everybody thinks he's got a sudden right of not being criticised. Why? Why? Listen, we I, you, I, I fear for us, man, Adam. I really do because you look at this now. Donny van der Beek looks almost certain to go in January. Paul Pogba, we've had reports this week that he doesn't want to sign and he's going to be off in the summer. We've had reports of Jesse Lingard want to leave in. We've had reports of Anthony Martial want to leave. Ronaldo's 36. Cavani's 35. Man, it's not a good look, man. It's really not a good look, man. Mate, try and enjoy your weekend, mate. Cheers for Thanks, coming Adam. on, pal. Thanks.